Definition of some terms used in Matrix V Shim, a term created as a pronoun referring to the higher self and the energy of the incarnations spirit of the higher self. Shim is a combination of she and him. Since everything we talk about in Matrix V is relative to the higher self, a correct word was needed, as there is no English pronoun for being both male and female. The incarnations of the higher self are suppressed by the higher self in response to Shim's willing participation in the game. Most incarnations on Earth have been conditioned by cultural programming. This is partially to empower the alien DNA commands in the Earth or human body and to make the spirit believe that the false identity of the body, the gender, or both is who you actually are. The prime goal of Earth reincarnations is to overcome the body cultural controls, to recognize who you really are and to have an infinitely wide range of experiences on third density Earth. The drive for awareness increases with experiences and many incarnations. The third density incarnational cycle culminates with the awakened final incarnation. The incarnational drive for advancement is proportional to the degree of recognition of the existence of who you really are and are not, spirit versus body ID. Incarnation an experiential period of an extension of the higher self into an organic body. Incarnational experiences are dependent on the use of a physical form. Most of the experience of the higher self is non-incarnational. In the case of Earth experience, the expression of your higher self into a third density, physical, humanoid body either sequentially or in numerous bodies simultaneously over the third density space-time continuum. We are concerned primarily with Earth incarnations here in this material. When a person dies, their spirit can interact on the astral in whatever way it is ready, whether to hang around a battlefield, a religious group, the advanced sections or anything in between. When the spirit decided it has had enough and wishes more, another incarnational experience, it winks out and that's where the end to the incarnation is. The awareness, however, continues. There is a nexus point for all the incarnations of the higher self that is signified by the winking out. Unfortunately, our linear perspective on Earth makes it very difficult to understand. The linear mode would comfortably say, he winked out and took on a new form. That would be fine if we had one incarnation at a time, but we, Earther incarnations, don't. Since we have all incarnations at the same time, each varying in length, that is not the case. Higher self incarnations, low, middle, advanced, dominant and final, do occur at different time periods in the third density. For example, a higher self can choose to have Shim's final incarnation in ancient Greece and the dominant in 1994, because each incarnation gets what Shim needs out of different time periods. You could have your very first incarnation in 1994 and your final in 200 BCE. It's all up to the higher self, the real you, depending on the experience Shim wants. Continues. Higher self, the composite awareness of all incarnational and non-incarnational experience and acquired wisdom, existing on a higher density than any of its extensions which acquire experience. This is the real you. The higher self progresses in stages. Once you are finished with third density incarnations and your final incarnation takes Shim's higher self to the next level, that higher self of you becomes one facet in the next level of your progression and you have a higher version of your higher self to work with and gather new, totally different experiences. Eventually you reach a level where you create galaxies and design third density events. It's super neat, but not of any particular concern at the third density level. Even so, this is only another stage of your progression and not the end of it. After each third density incarnation, we go to the fourth density astral. When the individual incarnation is finished on the fourth density, Shim returns to the higher self which is on a higher density. The drawing in the main material pretty accurately shows what our true form is, and you can see the form is nothing like human. After the final incarnation, all the incarnational streams are pulled back into the higher self and the next move is to another higher density than where the higher self currently resides gathering experiences in the form of incarnations. The higher self is not formless, Shim is oval in form with a luminescent glow of energy. The higher self is immortal and eternal. Shim can never die. Continues. Identity. The self-reflective aspect of awareness itself. Identity in its absolute form is awareness. In a physical incarnation the suppression of Shim occurs to one degree or another and the personality often assumes it alone constitutes identity, based on cultural programming, further complicated by identification with the body or gender of the body, or both, as well as occupation and a host of other assignments. As the higher self gains Earth experiences, Shim can exert increasing control over the identity. This takes hundreds of incarnations to accomplish, but the higher self always succeeds, no matter how many incarnations identities it takes or desires. Earther versus Earthling If you live on Earth, you're an Earther. Earthling is a derogatory term used by dark aliens and accepted by fools as real. Think of duckling, a baby duck, hatchling, a helpless newborn from the A. The origin is from the reptilians who look on Earthers as food slaves surrogates. The Ling edition says how they look on Earthers as under them, children to be, taken care of, that's another topic. As long as you allow that term by using it or not correcting others who to use it, the vibration of the term will continue. There have been some efforts made to change that. In the Babylon 5 series, for example, people were always Earthers. For some reason, in Star Trek, Earthers are never called such, but rather humans, making it sound like, all humans live on Earth. Trust in your higher self. Excerpt from Matrix 5 Gold Edition, Volume 1 Copyright, Copyright Sign 2003 Leading Edge International Research Group. All rights reserved.